Okay, this is an update of the old bowl pool. Uh, it's January the 3rd, and uh, it's almost time for the Fiesta Bowl. I wanted to give you an update on the um, questions and the, uh, the winners. <clears throat> One of the early questions was during the New Orleans Bowl. This is the first of two bowls played in NOLA. Will the combined point totals of all teams playing in a NOLA bowl exceed 110? With the Sugar Bowl having been completed last night, we can finally score that one. The total number of points scored in New Orleans bowls was 109. So the answer to that question is no. Just one point below 110. There was also a question early on about the field goal that... Um, that was kicked by Virginia Tech in the Russell Athletic Bowl. And uh, that one was in OT. And the question was, will either team kick a field goal with less than two minutes to play? I'm going to score that as a no for two reasons. One is there's no actual time in overtime. So that question doesn't exactly have a lot of meaning in that respect. The other reason is that there's an old maxim in contract law which states that you construe the terms of the contract against the drafter. Since I am the one that drafted these questions and I chose yes as the answer, uh, I'm going to go with the answer no so that it's construed against me. Um, now that should update all of those questions. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, on January... I'm just going to go back and I'm going to update from January 1. There might be a little bit of a repeat in there, but in case you want to up, update your questions. I'm going to start with the Capital One Bowl between Georgia and Nebraska. The winner there was Georgia. Um, the question was, will this bowl or the Outback Bowl draw greater attendance? Uh, according to ESPN.com, the Cap One attracted 59,712 viewers, the Outback 54,527. So the answer there is Cap One. Um, and the tiebreaker, that's a tiebreaker for one of our columns. The final score was 45-31, so if that is necessary, we'll reference that. In the Gator Bowl, Northwestern defeated uh, Mississippi State, and Northwestern also got to 14 points first. In the Outback Bowl, which I don't know if any of you watched it or have reviewed it, uh, it's without a doubt in my top ten list of greatest bowls of all time ever played. Uh, there were four lead changes um, in the fourth quarter, there was an unbelievably bad call on a Michigan fourth down uh, in which the referees called it a first down, and it clearly was not uh, on the ensuing uh, first down play. Uh, Jevion Clowney, the outstanding defensive player for South Carolina, completely blew up the Michigan backfield, uh, just destroyed the running back that was receiving the handoff, sent his helmet flying eight yards in the air, and took the ball right out of his hands for a uh, South Carolina fumble. And on the final drive of the game, um, South Carolina's star receiver and starting quarterback were knocked out on the same play, uh, but the backup quarterback and the other receivers um, continued the drive and scored a game-winning uh, touchdown with 11 seconds remaining. It was just an unbelievably good game. Amazing heroics on both sides of the ball. Denard Robertson had a great uh, final game of his college career and just a just a great all-around fun game and uh, left me uh, on the edge of my seat. So th South Carolina wins that one. Will the two teams combine to kick five or more field goals? The answer was no, they did not. Okay, in the heart of Dallas Bowl, played early on January 1, Oklahoma State did uh, defeat Purdue. Will a player from either team accumulate 105 or more yards receiving? That answer was no. No, no, no player did. Which team was the first to score in the second half? That's also Oklahoma State. Uh, and then New Year's Day evening, Florida State def defeated Northern Illinois. The final score there was 31-10. to And in the Rose Bowl, Stanford defeated Wisconsin 22-14. And then last night in the Sugar Bowl, Louisville upset Florida 33-23. to That was a big surprise, I think, to a lot of people. Um, but nevertheless, uh, that's how it turned out. Now, I've got the scores for the, um, I've got updated listings uh, that will be in my next video.